week on Ollie's Farm Weekly. We've been repairing and servicing some of the tractors. The weather's not been great and we're back making silage again. Well today it's Monday and I've just been down to a dealership. These are some hydraulic pipes for the John Deere and the mechanic who's going to be fixing the John Deere today and servicing some of the equipment has said that these are a bit of a, a nightmare to work with. So I've just had some made up which are a little bit easier to slot in so we don't have to take the add blue tank off the fuel tank and everything to fix the tractor which is what we're doing this morning because it's had a problem with the tow hitch. Right, now in the shed and this tractor's been repaired it had a problem with the pickup hitch but now it's all been fixed and uh, should be ready to go and pick up the tanker now so I can go and use it back to normal. In the end, we put those pipes on, which are from a local dealership. They made us up some hydraulic hoses, pop them on there. moving some sheep and they've both just gone in the dike so they're having a brilliant time we're about to go and start cutting some grass i've got to go and pick the mower up for the next few days and then we'll get trevor out to go and row up some of the silage fields which will be towards the end of the week but for now we've managed to get the anarchy service john deere repaired and i've got to go and pick up the horse tanker later on today as well so lots going on weather's it's not looking too bad, it's a bit overcast, but it is what it is. Trevor said to me, the weather always goes bad after the Norfolk show, so... Have you been swimming? Have you been for a swim? <laughs> Alright, well it's a lot later in the day now, and it is absolutely chucking it down for a change, so weather has gone really really wet so just walking all the farm dogs taking them out this evening and um, trying to stay in the dry but it's not a bad thing in all fairness to have, have a good bit of weather for a change or we'll keep the sugar beet growing in the barley but we've just got to wait it out because i wanted to do some weed wiping and stuff a bit of spraying but i'll just have to wait for now all right today it's wednesday the 5th of july it's my birthday so i'm 27 today and I'm just putting the bales back on, I'm taking the dogs for a walk this morning. I've been feeding the chickens in our little laying shed. And uh, the manatee's just been serviced. I've got this book here, which is still on here for the manatee. And I'm about to go and get some silage to feed some of the store cattle. And then later on today, I'm gonna to go and pick up the water tanker. And then I'll be going out for dinner tonight as a birthday treat. So. I, I share the same family as um, one lonely farmer, so Trevor's, <laughs> I've got to go and see Trevor because I think he's got a present for me or something he's doing for me, so I'll go and see him later. We'll pick up the last bale from last year. Alright, today it's Thursday, the 6th of July, the day after my birthday. Had a great evening last night, went out with some friends, had something to eat, had something to drink, good laugh. And now it's back to work today. So I've put, put the weed wiper on the back and I've changed the chemical. I've been using, it all gets very complicated, but I've been using Pastor, Thistle X, some broadleaf herbicides. And in the end, I've given up with them because they're too expensive now to put in the weed wiper. And I found out that actually, if you have the cattle on here grazing the, the, the fields off, grazing it down tight, I put glyphosate in the hopper in the tank and it works really well. You can adjust the height of the weed killer or the brush, if you like, the weed wiper on here. So all you gotta do is you just use your foot like that. You can change the height to wherever you want and then it just works out really, really well. So at the moment, I'll just set it to where I think we'll need it for today. All right, today it's Friday. Trevor's coming down later. He's gonna help us cut up some firewood and then we're just gonna make an area for some silage which I want to, I've been meaning to do for a while, but I've got to clear the wood out of the way. So Trevor's going to bring his chainsaw down 
cut up some firewood and then we can get going later on today. So I've got this bale on the front, we're going to go and feed some cattle and then Trevor will be here. What do you think about that? <laughs> Today it's uh, Saturday. Yesterday we, we were cutting up the firewood. Today I'm going to come down and we are uh, mowing the 32 acres, which is um, some new fields we bought earlier on last year. And I'm hoping that we can cut all of it today. So that's what I'm going to do. First time cutting it, there's four different blocks and we'll have a go at doing the first one and see how we get on. Put the PTO on, set it on 940. I've got my earplug in because I've, I've opened the back window just to listen out for the belts on the mower to make sure that the, I'm not, you know, the belts don't screech. Touch wood that's been going all right, like going nice and steady, you know. Trevor said to me, it's not a race. He said, it's not a race, you know, just go nice and steady and, uh, you know, just try and get the job done as best you can. So it's all going pretty well. Touch wood and slow it up here on the, on the vario. Lift up the, the mower. It's all been going quite well, um, except I've decided to change the blades, just swap them around. So I've done three turtles, or four, now I've just got three more to do. And also it will look after the mower better, you won't burn through belts and stuff like that, so it won't be too long. you've got to do is push down like that that's it and then swap it around so you get the sharp end we've blunted this one out you know and then you got the sharp end so we'll hopefully do a better job now come into another gateway and i can't go through that one because unfortunately the bridge is rotten it's like wood so i thought I'd, i'm not gonna risk it oh so it cuts so much better with fresh blades so much better night and day difference See where T-Dog is, see when he arrives, see who makes the old job. Should be looking at several hundred bales off here, I should think. All right, 
it's Sunday today and just opened up the gates, got the tractor down there. I've got to go and take the cattle out this morning, but we will be, I finished mowing half of that field last night. Unfortunately, I didn't get it all done because the belts went on the mower. Trevor's gone off to go and mow a church out today. So Trevor won't be around today, but he'll come next week. And we're gonna make some silage and put it there today, hopefully, if it all goes well. Um, but yeah, a bit annoying about the belts on the mower, but there we go, is what it is, one of those things. So I think we'll get at least 100 and maybe 100 bales, 120 bales in the end. All right, I'm just taking some cattle down. I've been taking them down this morning with mum and dad. They've gone off over there. Now I have to go and check the sheep and then back to the farm. I'm gonna go and get the front loader on and then put the bale trailer on and then we'll go and get the bales. I the cattle this morning and now I'm washing the bed off because we're gonna, we're gonna take a load of silage home with us today. So I've got to wash it all off and get it all ready for silage. Alright, we're just down to the marshes now and as you can see, it's raining. So the baler's stopped, the rower upper has stopped, the windrow, the rake, and I'm just getting this load for today and then I think we'll have to have another go tomorrow, but that's just the way it's gone this year. Sod's law, it's been a bit on and off so far, so, well, this summer anyway, but I'll bring these loads back. There's probably, I don't know, maybe 50 odd, 60 bales to bring back home and wrap today. And uh, yeah, it's just the way it's gone down, unfortunately. So pop these on the trailer, take them back home. And then we'll do the rest in the week. So yeah, I do love this time of the year, but you can't stop the weather. You can't choose the weather, there we go. Well, this is just lovely, isn't it? Just lovely, lovely job. Right, I've come back for another load now. I'm gonna have to sort out a tractor and trailer, I think, for Trevor. Once Trevor gets the tractor, 6410 or 6420, I'll bring this tractor and trailer down. Trevor can have a tractor and trailer, and then we'll bring all the bales back to the yard together and then I can unload them at home with a man or two. I'm going to convert this bale spike as well in the workshop this winter. We're going to cut a couple of holes out either side and put some conuses on so it can take two bales. I'll turn it into a twin bale spike which will make things a lot easier. And this trailer is small but it's on this 50k tractor so I can get a bit of a move on. If you stack it right you can get about 18 bales on. All depends how you load it really. And then if we go to a farm auction next year or the end of this year, I'll find a little trailer which Trevor can use with his tractor when he gets his tractor. So it's just really working it all out really and, and sorting it all out, you know, how you want it. I'll just put the air, um, had the door open because I like a little bit of fresh air sometimes. Um, but yeah, it's just sorting all the equipment out really, getting geared up for the job and, you know, having all the right equipment really. So I've still got that field over there to cut. There's another one behind that and then I've done half of a field opposite this one, so. so. We've got a few bales in the yard now. I'll wrap these up later on. Now we'll just go and get the last few bales. And here we go, last bale until the weather improves, which will be hopefully tomorrow or Tuesday. So I'll have a little count up if I can. I've got a few bales which have just started to stack into a row ready for the last load. I reckon there's uh, one, two, three, uh, 17 left, which I've rowed up and um, stacked into bales for the next lot, of, uh, next lot of bales when I come and pick the last lot up. So I've got another one loaded up and then I'll come pick this lot up next and then we'll be on to wrapping back in the yard. Yeah, if anyone's got any suggestions of how to do this maybe better or do it differently, do let me know. Let me know in the comments section down below. I mean, there's all different ways you can do it. Um, but yeah, everyone's got their own way of doing things, own ideas, all that sort of thing. So, you know, at the end of the day, it's just doing what works for you and ultimately just getting the job done. So we'll get back to the yard, get this lot done, and then we'll be wrapping. All right, we're now back at the yard and we're wrapping up these bales. It's been not great with the weather today, as I'm sure you would have seen. So we were supposed to muck out the sheds this week. We didn't get around to doing it in the end because we haven't got anywhere to put them up. And also the field we were gonna put it on and uh, we're gonna put some sheep on there now instead. I've also got the John Deere tractor coming on demo, a small John Deere 6R coming on demo to just exchange that one possibly, but this one's really, really good, six cylinders. 
and you know it's done the job really really well over these last couple of years so we might we might keep it but we'll try that other job again and then Trevor's been cutting up firewood like I say he's gone to the church today uh, to go and cut the gravestones out for the, the local church which he does once a year so we'll, I'm sure we'll find, all, find out all about that this week and uh, it is touch wood going all right now. I've um, just been setting up the ramper, getting everything going. So I've got to go really, really flat out over this next next two or three weeks to try and get all the silage done. Certainly I'd like it all done by, well, certainly by the end of August would be nice because then we're going to be on to harvest. Trevor's getting a grain trailer and he's going to be carting the grain into the grain store, which is going to be quite funny. Uh, I'm going to be on the Manor 2 with the grain, pushing up all the barley, loading it into the lorries, and then we're going shopping this upcoming week, Trevor and I, for a mower. And Trevor also wants to go and have a look at a tractor in Cambridge. So we'll be going to Cambridge this upcoming week. And we'll be mower shopping as well, looking for a drum mower, because Trevor reckons drum mowers are better for our thick marsh grass, which will be quite interesting to see. Um, so yeah, touch with it is all going well. We'll be out and about next week. Um, hopefully if everything goes well. Haven't had any breakdowns yet or anything like that. So. Yeah, I'll try and swap that front bale spike for a twin one. Try and do a little workshop job on it and get some conuses and put some different spikes on it. Picking up two bales with that one would be really, really handy. Um, but yeah, at the moment, just got the single one. So I'm going to try and get this lot finished tonight if I can. It's worked out quite well, but I've had to cart all the silage back and then wrap it rather than cart it and someone else be wrapping it in the day. And I think Trevor's going to talk to us next week. He's got some plans about what he wants to do with the farm and some machinery ideas and things to, you know, make things more efficient, speed things up. So um, we'll speak to Trev T Dog next week and see what he says. And then also, um, I've got a land agent coming next week to talk about some farm diversification ideas and the farm building, which will be quite fun. So yeah, stay tuned. Keep liking, keep subscribing, all that good stuff. And I'll try and get the rest of this silage done. Hopefully, we'll get it done before tomorrow, before the rain comes again. Catch you on the next one. Click here to subscribe to the channel and click here to watch another Ollie's Farm video.